she disappeared at the peak of her career to settle for a life behind the scenes. Then her cocaine addiction almost took over her life and brought her love that didn't last. This is the untold shocking life story of Hollywood actress Heather Thomas. Heather Ann Thomas was born on September 8, 1957 in Greenwich, Connecticut. She came from an academic background. Her mother was a special education teacher and her father worked as a university dean. Young Heather went to Santa Monica High School and after her graduation, she attended the UCLA School of Theater, Film and Television. While at the school, she was an active member of the Chi Omega sorority. She graduated in 1980. Thomas's acting journey started way before she got her acting degree. The movie star made her acting debut at age 14 when she was featured in the NBC series The Talking Giant. Her next film feature was in 1978 as a much older and experienced actress. Heather got a minor part in the American sitcom Coed Fever, which she said was cancelled after the third commercial. Her next role, perhaps, might just be the biggest of her career. Heather was called up for the role of Judy Banks in The Fall Guy alongside celebrity actor Lee Majors. The movie was a hit and had Heather right where she had been praying for. But fame is a tricky thing, and Heather realized a little too late that she might not be able to handle it. Heather earned a Gemini Award nomination, now known as the Canadian Screens Award, for her role in Ford, The Man and Machine. The actress also had a list of awards to her name for her outstanding performance in several other movies. But behind all the glitz and glamour, she was suffering from something that would almost take her life. Heather had been involved with cocaine right from her UCLA days, and as she described, then she was in a honeymoon stage with the drug. And with the Judy Banks role, the actress got more famous and more money to finance her vice. I felt that I was getting a lot of money it enabled me to stay up all night and work the next day, the actress confessed about the drug, and she would make it even worse with her obsession with her body physique. Heather was constantly pumping doses of the diuretic Lasix into her body to maintain her body shape, and an overdose of this would cause lethargy. This would also react badly to the excess cocaine, and she believes that she would have died if her family had not intervened. Before this, the actress was constantly denying substance use, not to even talk of an addiction, so her family came up with an unconventional way of getting her into rehab. After the final episode of The Fall Guy in 1985, Thomas received the news of her father's critical health, and she flew down to Santa Monica only to meet a drug intervention staged by her family. She finally agreed to a three-week rehabilitation program, and those were the worst days of her life. She battled with pneumonia, inflamed kidneys, and scarred lungs. She also needed daily doses of potassium and vitamins to maintain her body's chemical balance. But in the end, it was worth it. She was finally able to stay clean, but there was even better news. She had found love. During her time in the hospital, Thomas fell in love with Alan Rosenthal, a psychotherapist who specialized in treating patients with drug struggles. He made her happy and marriage to him seemed like the best decision, but it became another chapter of trouble for the actress. Heather married Alan in August 1985, and although it looked like it came with a fairy tale ending, this union crashed sooner than anyone had expected. Exactly one year into the marriage, Heather served Alan divorce papers as a result of irreconcilable differences. But her next marriage would be her reward. But still, rumor has it that it was one of the major reasons why she quit acting. Thomas married entertainment attorney Harry Marcus in October 1992 and the couple has been together ever since. Harry had two daughters from his previous relationships, Christina and Shauna, and Heather would give birth to her only child, India Rose, on June 19, 2000. Christina studied law, while Shauna is currently pursuing a musical career. Not much is known about India Rose, except that she was the major reason why her mother's acting career went downhill. It is not so unusual to hear that an actress as gorgeous as Heather in her prime years attracted stalkers but Heather's own was a little above the line. Her bikini pictures decorated the bedroom walls of teenage boys across the country, and some of them wanted so badly to take the experience beyond the bedroom walls. Sometime in the late 90s, Heather said that she caught a guy climbing over her fence holding a knife. This was going to be such a negative influence on her daughter's upbringing, so Heather decided that it was time to give up the spotlight. She quit acting but did not move too far from Hollywood. 
With her degree from UCLA, Heather transitioned to screenwriting. She wrote her first plot called School Slut. It made headlines due to its controversial title, and it sold for a reported six-figure sum to Touchstone. The story follows a high school girl who turns the tables on her tormentors by using their cruel rumors to her advantage. Unfortunately, Touchstone couldn't produce the film, and this made Heather reclaim the rights to the scripts. But the buzz surrounding the script sale marked an exciting and attention-grabbing beginning to Thomas's screenwriting career. Her first novel, Trophies, was published in 2008 by Williams Morrow. Sometime in the late 80s, when the actress was still trying to get it all together, her family, career, and addiction problems, an unfortunate event would have her in a hospital bed for months. Heather remembers that it was a Tuesday morning and she was jaywalking across San Vincent Boulevard after a shopping trip. According to the Los Angeles police officer, the actress was struck by a car traveling at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Heather suffered cuts, scrapes, bruises, and leg injuries. She also complained of head and chest pain. The actress went through six hours of plastic and orthopedic surgery the following day. Luckily, she was not cited for jaywalking, and authorities would also let the driver go as the accident wasn't his fault. She made a full recovery months later, but that was one event she would remember for a lifetime. Heather Thomas's acting days appeared to be over as her newfound obsessions took over her. By the late 2000s, Heather had become Los Angeles' most important connector in democratic politics. She hosted monthly fundraisers in her home in Santa Monica, and it became popularly known as the LA Cafe. The actress has donated over $280,000 to political candidates since 1992, especially to Democratic and Special Interest Boards. Heather has also served as an advisor to the Rape Foundation and Amazon Conservation Team. If you don't take any action, you are just as much to blame, Heather said about her reason for campaigning. But what is she doing now? Heather does a good job of keeping her private life away from the eyes of the media. She returned to acting after a 20-year hiatus with a part in the 2014 musical drama film Girl Trash all night long. She continues to work behind the scenes as a screenwriter. Thomas, in a recent interview with CNN, claims that she has over 20 projects that she is excited about and among them are horror films and films with a deep social agenda. Her fans still expect her to make another return to the screens as she has not announced her retirement officially. She had quit acting during her prime years because of stalkers and their impact on her growing daughters. But now they are all grown up and she doesn't have to worry much about them anymore. I think I have gotten so old that people won't bother me so much, the actress said in an interview. Heather Thomas, now 65 years old, is still in terrific shape for her age. And when she is not writing or acting, she enjoys family time with her husband and her daughters in their home in Connecticut. She has an estimated net worth of $2 million. Do you have any fond memories of the actress? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please watch other videos of our channel about beautiful actresses of yesteryear.